going to build a steam tech machine pistol using this small hand operated drill. This is very similar to the steam tech submachine gun that we made, so cranking the handle rotates the barrels. Small drills like this can be picked up from most arts and craft shops for detailed drilling. For the barrels, I've got this piece of hollow aluminium tubing that I'm going to cut into sections and then mount them around the drill chuck. I'm going to glue the chuck to this metal o-ring and then mount the small aluminium barrels around the outside perimeter of the chuck. Taken a circular piece of metal and drilled six holes around the circumference. The aluminium pipes are going to thread through these holes. At the base of the barrel I've got a second piece of metal which the aluminium pipes are going to be glued into. This whole thing will then be attached to the chuck part of the drill bit. I've attached all six barrels to the circular end pieces. This now needs to be attached to the drill. So the barrels simply screw onto the drill. We now need to build up a housing around the end of the barrels. I'm going to use this drainage pipe connector, 40 millimeters in diameter, to mount over the end of the drill bit to act as a guard for the barrels. Here is the drill with the connector pipe attached. I'm going to use a piece of small plastic strip to build a trigger to go under the drill. The trigger has just been glued into place. I'm going to build the magazine for the machine pistol out of these electrical terminal blocks. I'm going to glue two of these together and then encase the outside of the magazine in black plastic. This will all then be sprayed up. The two terminal blocks have been glued together. I'm now going to put a layer of plastic around the outside to finish this off. I've glued plastic around the outside of the magazine. I'm now going to bend a piece of brass around the outside of the magazine. This will allow me to attach the magazine to the drill. The bullets for the magazine are going to be made out of these small wall plugs. I'm going to fill the ends of these and then glue them into the magazine. I'm going to glue a flat piece to the base of the gun. This will allow me somewhere to easily attach the magazine. I've glued a flat piece of wood to the base of the pipe section and then filled this in with epoxy putty. Once this is dry we can sand this to shape. I've wrapped the brass around the gun and then held it together using two brass bolts. The magazine can now slide into this and then the additional flaps that I've got left over can be used to screw the magazine holder to the base of the gun. I've screwed the brass metal piece that's going to hold the magazine to the barrel part of the gun and then using epoxy putty built up around the base of this to give us a nice smooth finish. I've glued a couple of pieces of plastic from a children's toy set to the top of the gun for additional detail. I've glued small plastic dots to act as rivets around the gun. The gun's now ready to be sprayed. I've sprayed the gun using a gun metal coloured car paint. Over the top of this I've used a black wash to pick out the extra detail and then highlighted the raised points by dry brushing the whole thing with silver. I've taken some raw plugs and painted them a brass colour to look like fake bullets. These then slot into the magazine. The magazine slides into the base of the gun and is simply held in by friction. I've now reattached the handle to the side which is simply bolted into place. I've added a brass piece of metal for a trigger guard and a pipe across the top for additional detail. In the same way as Mrs Carruthers and the submachine gun I've already built, this works as a clockwork mechanism. So rotation of the handle gives you rotation of the barrels. 